We're broadcasting live from Hexon, Texas, home of the spoilers. We're at AK-47 Stadium where the fans are required by law to carry firearms 24-7. So put your bulletproof vests on and let's go, America! And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a house Hey, man, I was hanging on the channel now. You know what happened? <laughs> it's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So, what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little closer, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. <laughs> and the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was. Bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. And that'll bring up third and one. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the team and like Bricks and Bowles, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talk to the air. He refuses to go down. And he pumps his way out of Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd. Loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is a 
unfortunate. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. He let the punt drop, and it will be downed by the defense. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Third down and six. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And he breaks away. First and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And that'll be second down and four. Strike lightning twice. And he's off to the races. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd is 
wasn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Third down and, well, good luck. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, man, that worm just ain't the player alive. You got to steer clear of the pits. You know, my sister had a tape worm almost that big. Her name was Frederick. I didn't know that they made great house pets. He just got to sleep in leather underpants. The little bug is like the burrow. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Six yard gain there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turds on my front porch every day. Third down and eight. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Catches and watches confidence take. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. Third down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Run it for a couple of yards. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this league have a pow. And how about a little dirt sandwich? The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Now oh, the old broke back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of Newton. Got his back broken and now he's in a mountain of pain. First and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Oh, and he picks up about six on the play. Third 
and four. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. That's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and two. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> and the quarterback finds his man for the first down. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Eh, big deal. Missed a meat for brain cram and a ball and didn't fall out. <laughs> And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And that's a run for no gain. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy! Oh, what the brutal hit! And it's the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a thrown out good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go into a strip show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you sell down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Okay. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. was good for 10 yards. <laughs> Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try it right. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 20. Oh, the worm swallows him whole and goes down like the last shot of whiskey in an Irish wing. First and ten. Well, fee, fi, fo, fum. The defense knocked the pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. Second down and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Third down and... The punter is warming up. <laughs> and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Oh. 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 And then catch 
will give them a first down. I don't know if there is, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Brazil. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, holy smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Second down and more than the QB would like. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Third down and, well, good luck. Third down, and Offen says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And look at that ref run. He makes it out of bounds to survive another play. QB and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snags. He got hit by a car and died. I just told that story. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. <laughs> Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Remember that movie Alien from like a hundred years ago? His great, great, grand popping was that cute little alien that popped out of that guy's stomach. Yeah, you ended up marrying some sitcom star, if I remember right. Yeah, at the wedding dinner after popping out of the cake. Good memory, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's 
First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. Second and eight to go. Oh, and he intercepts the ball. Thank you very much. Pow, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. for a yard second down and nine the third quarter has ended and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting second down and nine Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Third down and a sliver. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like this follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Dancing is a form of battle. And they celebrated their best citizens by making too many moves about them. It's a fascinating culture. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Something going here. He scores! I'm a hell of a seller. I'm a hell of a seller. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
and ten. First and ten. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, good run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a paddy wagon, get taken for a rough ride. And I nearly did not have... And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. First and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. What you talking about? Second down and a very lot. The defenders want to beat this kick in. And that's a nice run for a first down. We're at the two-minute mark in the second half. And it's first and ten. Crusher right there, folks. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. They've got one more timeout left. Stop the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Oh, man, I'd rather watch my big toenail being removed by a weasel than watch this. That's how I got rid of my toenail foot fungus, Grim. Found this weasel on the internet that did it for a can of sardines. Cheap. It pays to be smart when it comes to medical procedures. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. Runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for shooting. 
Jared Briggs. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's right. Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. Nice pick up for six yards. Third and two. Too little, too late for the offense. This is their last gas. Fucking chokers. And they're still alive, like a zombie. You know, dead man walking. This guy's a brick shit house. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope, Brim. First damn dead vampires, dead mermaids, dead before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. That's a bad kick, and it's going to cost them some yards. <laughs> They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Picks up eight yards on a strong run. And it's first and ten. In a fight between King Chung and Godzilla, the player on Roy Grade would win. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game.